good morning guys welcome to my channel so today we are talking about lero and Mitalo's situation so their situation keeps getting worse and worse so basically what happened they had an altercation Mitali thought that uh, Leroy is being unfaithful by not answering her calls. She apparently called him 78 times, according to Leroy. But we will come to that. So people on Twitter are commenting that Leroy released a statement alleging Mitali wanted to stab him due to information she received uh, stating that Leroy is being unfaithful and that Mitali is violent. Uh, whenever she's under the influence of substances he cannot name. So after that fight, this is how Mikali looked like. This is how she looked like. And on the statement they are saying um, is because she was pushed and she hit a wall. I don't know what to make of this. Because she's commenting saying that thank you my angel Leroy. One thing I'll advise Mikali about is that Dating a married man and thinking that she, he will treat you better, but he treated his wife not so good. Never ever think that you are more special because you're beautiful, you're famous, you have the fame. No, honey. No. They never change. Now let's go to the screenshot where uh, Leroy is showing us the missed calls. This is what I want to say. I believe that Mikali's Mikali's um sorry guys that was a call that disturbed me. Look at the space between Mikali and and that seventy five, and look at the space between gate home and that two. The space is literally a lot, so it seems like the numbers were saved like that. So here is the statement, I Leroy. I would like to address the recent allegations that have surfaced on 4th of August regarding the gender, the GBV against my partner, Michal and Damase. I have always upheld the value of respect, equality in our relationship and interactions. It is disheartening to see how quickly misinformation and manipulation can spread and how easily someone's character can be called into question without a thorough understanding of the fact. As someone who has experienced the disheartening and hurtful impact of this personally, I em emphasize deeply with the victims of GBV. On the 4th of August, Michali attempted to contact me by placing a total of 78 calls, of which I was not in attendance Two, as I had fallen asleep. Mikali then arrived at my residence and persistently requested that my son opens for him for her so she could see me. Upon arrival, my son um opened and she needed to she headed to the kitchen to equip herself with a knife in attempt to stab me as she allegedly so she to stay with me as she allegedly was shown evidence of me being unfaithful. Mikali then came to my bedroom as I was asleep to confront me for being unfaithful and attempted to stab me, of which I then protected myself by pushing her away from me, resulting in her sustaining her injuries as she made contact with the wall. My son then came to my rescue after hearing the shouting and pleading for Mikali not to kill me. With this being said, I would like to inform you all that Mikali has a long history of physical assaulting me and damaging my property, especially when she's under influence of substances I cannot name. Jesus. It is important to know that there is a platform of witnesses, my children and bystanders, whom can attest to me and not ever laying a hand on her during or after any allegations, but always um, deflecting and defending myself accordingly. It is 
unfortunate that Mikali would use her platform to spread these harmful allegations to play against my public image in attempt of being revengeful. I ensure you all that I will continue I ensure you all that I will continue to cooperate fully with any inquiries, especially from authorities, to clear my name and to restore my, my reputation from this. Thank you for understanding. Then this is how Mikali responded to the allegation that two sides to every story, then there is a narcissist version of events, which seems to have nothing to do with the original story. What am I going to say to this situation you guys need to separate is getting toxic. There is GBV inside. The only way for you guys to sort out this is to separate, go to therapy, get over and done with the situation because it's not working and it's not going to work anytime soon. So it's better just to leave it before it's get to... People killing each other, people stabbing each other, people pushing others against the walls. So, guys, no, it's not working. Just leave it alone, okay?